What is happening, everybody? It's your boy, MD the Veteran, BKA Prophet MD, whatever you want to call me, man. Um, I just want to bring y'all a quick word today, man. And I want to say, don't let anybody override you. You have to trust yourself. And what I mean by letting them override you is don't let them project on you what they see. Because their view of you is not necessarily accurate or factual or may even not hold any truth. I say that again. It may not hold any truth to what they're saying. So if you allow people to speak negatively about you in your face, what are you doing? Why are you allowing that? For example, I'm a pretty quiet guy at times. I'm pretty outspoken at times. I'm pretty soft-spoken. Uh, I could be very motivational at times. Sometimes I don't want to say nothing. So that might throw people off, but I don't care. It's just the fact that people go to make assumptions just because I might act a certain way or post something. And they don't know exactly what's going on in my head. So you can't make make assumptions and say, hey, bro, I see something's wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm the type of person, if something is wrong with me, I know how to go for it. I know how to say, hey, I need some help. I know how to go to sources of help. I know how to phone a friend. I know how to phone family members, my sisters, my brothers. I know how to phone my mom, my dad. You know, so for people to project and say things like you don't have a support system is kind of disrespectful, you know, um, and I know they're coming from love and concern, but you have to ask questions before you make powerful assumptions or powerful statements like, hey, I know you're not doing good. Where are you getting that from? Just because your standard for me doing good might look a certain way, me doing good is me saying I'm good. Shaking my head north and south like we did in the military. I'm not hard to please. Like my life is good. I'm thankful to God for that. So when people try to override how you feel, Maybe we need to get away from those people or maybe we need to silence those people because no one wants to second guess themselves. No one wants to feel like their opinion or their feelings don't matter because you're not listening. People that want to project, they oftentimes, they don't listen. That's just like I was talking to my doctor. I ain't saying no names. I was talking to him earlier. And I'm like, Doc, I feel like A, B, C, and D. And he goes back and he's like talking real fast. I'm like, Doc, you didn't hear me say A, B, C, and D. Because he was so quick to want to give me an answer. He wasn't listening to me. I was telling him as the patient, I'm like, hey, I'm the patient. You can't compare me with everybody else. I'm the patient. Just because they allow a certain thing or don't say things, maybe they're less educated. But me, I have specific questions. So my doctor was saying, oh, you shouldn't feel like this. According to your books, I shouldn't feel like that. But in real life, I feel like this. So that's why it's important to not allow anybody to override how we're feeling, bro. It's like, that's crazy to me. It's like trusting somebody with your life and you you putting it out your own hands. Now, I understand like if you don't feel safe, then go ahead and do that. But if you, if everything is clicking up here and you feel good about yourself, trust yourself, man. Because 
ain't nobody perfect, bro. How can how can somebody come tell you how to live your life? Hmm? It's impossible. I don't look at anybody like they perfect. I don't. Nor should you. Because the only per perfect being was Jesus. <laughs> and I'm sure, like, you know, he was in the flesh. He had... Anyways, I don't even want to make this about spirituality. Ooh. <laughs> but um, don't let nobody override you, man. And I just want to give y'all that positive bit of feedback, man. And I hope if you were one of those people that... Oh, okay, yeah, I'm a, yeah. Don't trust people to just steer you every which and way, man. You ain't gonna be able to stay and plan it on your own too and, tr and trust yourself. It's dangerous not to trust yourself and trust other people. Because as everybody says, you can't trust nobody. So why are you gonna put your trust in somebody over yourself? I don't know. But I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all day, man. It's your boy, The Veteran. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to everything that I have going on. My YouTube, my TikTok, my Facebook, every Instagram, everything. Make sure y'all go follow your boy, MD The Veteran. And uh, stay tuned for the next show, man. Thank y'all for joining me here at The Real Ones Reserve Podcast. And always, as always... It's your boy, the veteran. So who you think you're better than? Y'all be easy.